here's the deal. So I need to film a Q&A with Devin tonight, but I need a coffee so bad and I'm craving, if you've been around for a while, you know, the cookie cold brew from Blackrock. And so I just feel like we need to go because we're moving literally in a few days or not a few days, like a week. And I just need to go like maybe once or twice more if possible. So we're gonna go ignore Devin's birthday balloons in the back. I insisted on hanging them there because someone bought our pistachio table. Oh my gosh, update for y'all. It's gone, I'm really sad about it, but I'm excited because it just kind of symbolized as like new beginning, so I can't wait. Someone bought it and so they were on like a chair and then I insisted on tying them to our headboard. So he's a birthday boy forever. But I do actually need to stop by the warehouse. and I'm dreading it. You guys can be my like partners in crime while we go do this because mentally I've been preparing myself. I have to go to the warehouse we weren't really gonna go today, but I'm meeting a friend, Jenna, tomorrow for coffee. And I told her I would give her notepads for like a giveaway type thing she's doing for an event. And I totally forgot I need to like have the notepads and like we're not gonna obviously go like tonight or anything. So I need to go like now before it's too late and we have traffic. I need to go grab that. It's not actually a big deal. The warehouse isn't like super far from where we are. But for me to do that and then go to Blackrock. It's gonna be a lot of driving, but I feel like if I listen to like a podcast or two, it'll be kind of fun because honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself. I completed a lot of work. Sorry, I'm like out of breath, running around the apartment. My laptop's going crazy. I get my text on here. I don't even know how. Like I don't recall setting this up. Anyways, what I'm trying to say, let's go to Black Rock. <laughs> I was gonna listen to a podcast from kind of feeling like summer country vibes. Oh yeah. Alright y'all, I'm in the drive-thru. I didn't record because I got nervous, but they still have cookie cold brew, which is good. I never know because I feel like that's such like a special thing. Maybe they just still can make it, but if you have a Black Rock near you, you should totally try one. They're so good. I just, I'm obsessed with it. Like, if you know, you know. I used to get these all the time. I'm pumped. Okay, I secured the cookie cold brew. <sighs> I need to take a picture, I feel like, before I drink it. I ended up just driving to a new spot because y'all when I tell you I've never seen a parking lot so busy in my life like anytime I tried to film like someone came and parked here someone parked there oh I thought someone was coming right now but it's funny I'm at the top of the parking deck if you guys remember so like two summers ago when we moved here call me candid days I would come grab a cookie cold brew and like shoot outfit photos in the same like parking deck all the time I probably should have mixed up my location but I feel like it kind of became like my little thing so it's okay but I'm at the, like the top of the parking deck I always shot pictures like down but it's just like so funny to be here because it's not necessarily like far from where we live it kind of is like our new apartment was like farther away but I just like never come over here anymore and I kind of wish I did like this cookie cold brew just if you have a black rock just please get one for me and send me a photo like tag me in your story because I want to see all right y'all so I'm back from the coffee shop obviously we had a red baron frozen pizza for dinner mm. super fancy and I'm with a celebrity so I would sit down with Dev and we would do a little q and I asked you guys on Instagram stories to like ask different questions for us to answer. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I'll have Dev put it up there, but you should follow me because I like to do like little question things. Okay, so the first question we're gonna talk about is why are y'all moving back to NC? I thought this was a good one to start with just because, I mean, it's kind of why are you moving to begin with? And then we'll kind of get in with the other details. So I don't know if you kind of want to like start. Yeah. So the main thing is family. I think we can both agree with yeah. that. Um, both of our families live in that area mm -hmm. and which is what area I feel like they don't know yeah the Raleigh North Carolina area so both of our families are from there we grew up there so she has like grandparents there I know. we everything. have everybody I mean I have nieces nephews so we're just away from everybody and it's just a lot you know we yeah. miss everybody I feel like we couldn't travel home all the time so like it would be four six months you know where we hadn't seen everyone mm -hmm. I have really little siblings which is something kind of unique to my family and the kids specifically really got me and this is not to say we're not moving back literally purely because kids were growing up and we missed it there's mm -hmm. more to it too but it's just hard being 22 yeah. hours away when we both I don't think we realized how close we are with our families until we left I think we kind of got married mm -hmm. young and we were like, oh my gosh, we're like so sick of Raleigh. We grew up here. Like, let's go do something crazy. Peace out. We're going to go build this crazy life. And it's like, you go do it. And then you're like, holy cow, I miss where I'm from mm -hmm. and miss seeing family. Like even random things like Easter, right? It was just a few weekends ago. And I'm like, I miss 
Easter. It's not like we were driving distance, which made it so hard. Yeah. It's like you have to catch a flight and like yes. pack a whole like no. long suitcase. Yeah, oh yeah, we would pack like the full shebang. We would stay there for like a few weeks mm. and we couldn't ship. It just was like this whole thing and- Just too far. Yeah, sure. too far. Get, like we could have done like a South Carolina vibe, like a few mm -hmm. hours honestly would be great. And I'm not even opposed to something like that even like way down the road if we ever like yeah. felt like we needed to leave Raleigh. But I definitely will never, ever, ever be a plane ride away from family mm. ever again. Look, us being away to really show how much we missed everything. And that home. reminds me too, I saw someone ask this and I didn't technically say we would answer this question, but I kind of can. Someone had asked like, if you know you're gonna move back like one day and miss family, like, and you think you're gonna miss family, mm -hmm. do you still think it's worth leaving? And I feel like it still kind of is. Like, mm -hmm. I guess- uh, Yeah, I don't regret our time here no. at all. I guess that's what I'm trying to For say. Sure. No, like, yeah, we kind of knew we would move back eventually, but yeah, exactly, like we mm -hmm. just, just makes us more thankful to move back. When are y'all moving? I never say y'all, so. So I guess we can say it. We haven't really said it yet, but I don't know when this video is going up, but we're moving, like our flight home is April 30th. Mm -hmm. We can say that, right? Yeah. yeah. April 30th. And so we haven't really talked much about it yet, but we're actually moving to the moving company and that has been the best saving grace. Oh my gosh. So we thought we were gonna be driving like a huge like 26 foot U-Haul, taking the warehouse apartment, having his parents come do a 22 hour trip and we're actually not gonna have to do that anymore. Moving companies are so worth it by the way guys. But we'll talk more about that and you'll see more on my social media. We'll kind of talk about that whole process. But so because of that, we're able to just fly home. So we're flying home April 30th and make sure to follow me on Instagram and like TikTok because I'm gonna be posting a lot of like stories and like different, just like moving vlogs even over there, like more in real time. But I'm gonna try to, to vlog more on like our YouTube channel just because I feel like moving content's so fun. But I don't think y'all realized how soon it was. Like we literally no. moved, like this video is probably going up a few days before we leave, which is just blowing my mind. Crazy. So crazy. So soon. The next question is, are you moving into an apartment or house and that is a good question we i think thought about both mm -hmm. but should we just be like super honest like honestly we're just not really ready to move into a house like the housing market is just like so expensive right now and we're just being patient and we really like apartment living at the moment honestly we really do it's kind of crazy like like he said, the market's so nuts and we don't have a house to sell that we're gonna make tons of money on. So yeah. I feel like for us to buy right now, it doesn't really make a ton of sense. Mm -hmm. And two, can we just say, there's like so much pressure, I feel like on young couples to like buy a house right away. And if you can and you choose to do that, like that's amazing. But even then, like Deb and I just kind of like apartments. We don't have to worry about the yeah. lawn yet. Like you're not having to go mow the grass and mm -hmm. like all this stuff. And of course there's pluses to owning a home and I understand like all of it. Trust yeah. me, I'm like a Dave Ramsey kid, I know. But we just kind of like it right now. And I guess you could tell them we got an apartment and we are obsessed obsessed with it like new apartment guys we're so excited because i always say like we're moving to raleigh and we actually are moving to raleigh but like we grew up outside of raleigh and like mm -hmm. kind of like the apex area if you've been there and so like we've never really lived in raleigh ourselves like close to downtown or like the fun stuff to do in raleigh like we go to like these coffee shops all the time like we would drive like 30 minutes to mm -hmm. go to them and like now we're going to be like very close to all of them which is really cool for us so I know like we're pumped because we did grow up in that area for so long so we wanted it to be a little fun and different we didn't want to go move to like the family areas yet like we want to kind of have like the fun young married couple vibes so we got a fun raleigh apartment i cannot wait to show you guys one of the questions you guys asked that i didn't really put that i just thought i'd answer we will 100 percent do an apartment tour like an empty one i already told Devin once we get the keys like we're gonna go ahead and film through it before all of our mm -hmm. furniture's in we'll get that up for you guys because i really want y'all to see it but that just worked out recently yeah when we were going to dallas we actually like i think we applied in dallas right like in the hotel like oh yeah we're really pumped and that kind of was like a last minute thing what will happen to the warehouse <laughs> so we found a new warehouse in north carolina so yes. we're going to be moving everything out of this warehouse and into the next so yeah we actually were so stressed about it because it is so hard to find warehouses Yo, like, we, anywhere you go. We could literally make a documentary about it. Like Devin had talked to oh how gosh. many people? I mean, I've reached out to probably hundreds of yeah. warehouses and they either just weren't the right size 
or they were and they just never got back to me. That was the main problem. Yeah, it, honestly, they were not very responsive and... Which is really frustrating. Mm -hmm. Like, it kind of honestly made me really disappointed. I know, it's like we found the perfect warehouse and then it's just like they never get back to you. Yeah, it's like at least tell us like, oh, we have someone else. Like, I don't know. It's just the fact that they like ghosted us that bothered me so much because we would find this perfect space that we thought was perfect mm -hmm. and then they wouldn't respond. But it's like at the end of the day, God didn't want us in those warehouses. So it's like we had to kind of accept that. And it's crazy. I hit a point where I was like, Devin, I feel like you and I are trying to control the situation so much. You're on LoopNet. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like a Zillow, but for finding like commercial space and like warehouses. Yeah. He was on it all the time. And like I was constantly stressed out about it. And I was like, we just need to like hand this over to God, not worry about it as much. We kind of like took a little bit of a step back, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And it just all started to fall through. So we did get a space. It isn't as big though as what we have now. Literally, it was the only space we could get. So we didn't really have an option. Mm -hmm. So. We did get something though, and it is heated and cooled, which is really exciting for us. I cannot wait for the summer <laughs> in a heated and cooled warehouse. It's nothing super glamorous. It's kind of like what we have now, but it works great for our business. Yeah. And one thing too, I don't know if everyone realized this, but like we don't own the warehouse we have here in Texas. So mm. like when they asked what will happen, I don't know, yeah. maybe they're talking about that. Like it, we were just renting that, so it will just go to the next person. So yeah, it was perfect timing. Our lease was ending, yes. so we were just ready to Move to North Carolina. Yeah, a lot of people too are wondering like why we chose now and it's like honestly now that this is all kind of out in the open, I would have moved a while ago probably. Mm -hmm. I've been missing home really bad. I know you have too, but mm -hmm. it's definitely more so me. And it's hard when you're tied into leases, you can't really do anything about yeah. it. Like you can break them, but I, oh my gosh, to break our warehouse probably would have been so much money. Yeah. We did actually have to break our apartment though because it was off by a few months unfortunately. So that kind of stuff. And a lot of like commercial warehouse spaces are like a three to five year lease. So it's like signing another lease. If we were to re-sign, yeah. he would have gone up and made us probably He said stay. his pricing was going up and probably his lease term would have gone up. Probably. And we just didn't want to like recommit to it's another three to five years or even like two years with negotiation. I was like, no, I, yeah. yeah, it's so hard. So that's kind of like the whole shebang there. We're still going to be shipping ourselves. Same exact thing happening back home, just literally in a new space, which is fun. And I think we're going to organize it a bit differently. I'm going to be there a lot more. I want to just go live more in there. I'm hoping I can bring you guys along on like the warehouse part more back home. Next question. Why did you move from family in the first place? Well, we kind of said a little, but we got married. Timeline for us. We literally went to the courthouse, got married. It was COVID times, like craziness. So we just kind of did a chill wedding, which I honestly loved. Mm -hmm. It's great looking back on it. And we seriously hopped in the car and moved to Texas. Reason being, at the time, if you followed me, I actually had a podcast with my friend Haley and that was going super well. And so we were recording on like Zoom and FaceTime and it just got to be really hard. And at the same time too, so we didn't move here fully for the podcast, but at the same time you and I were itching to I think experience something mm -hmm. new. I think too, because of COVID, everything was shut down that we just really started to like, oh, we're like Raleigh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. like it. And it wasn't even Raleigh's fault. It just, I think everyone, no matter where you lived, everyone was just like, oh my gosh, what is the world? Like everything. And so we just kind of wanted a change. So yeah. we moved and the podcast was another really big reason. I mean, Haley's located here in Austin. I had visited a few times. He had never been, but I came and I love the area. We actually live a little outside of Austin. I feel like we can kind of say that now. Mm -hmm. We're in like the Lakeway Bee Cave area if you are from Austin. And so it's really pretty out here, like the hills, everything. And so I thought it was a great place for us to be. And you yeah, kind of trusted me sure. on that. And it's like, yeah, the podcast didn't end up being, you know, a thing forever. And that's totally fine. It was a part of my story. It was a part of Haley's story. It was part of our story. Mm -hmm. I mean, we loved having it. And I mean, there was no drama. I feel like literally that's all I get asked 24 seven is are you and Haley not friends anymore? Your friends, like there's no drama. Please don't make it to be drama. We are really excited to move home and actually work on our friendships too back in like the Raleigh area. Like, mm -hmm. We have people there that I'm really pumped about and I can't wait for you guys to meet. And yeah, that's kind of, I guess, all of that. Next question. <laughs> I'm having Devin, I guess. <laughs> Top three things you'll miss about Texas. Alternate. Okay. We can just say a few, maybe even more than three. First one for me, the food. Do you not agree? Yeah, the food's good. Okay. What, what are like your favorite food places Basically, if they like haven't been here or want to go yeah, to any places? The food in Texas is like the best I've ever had, honestly, just to be honest. And 
So Perry Black's is a very good barbecue place and I really like that. And then Lily <laughs> really, like that. really, really liked Bird Bird Biscuit, which we're gonna is go tomorrow morning. a place we found recently and they have just amazing chicken biscuits. Dad and found it and it, I am not kidding when I say it's the best place I've ever been in my entire 23 years of, no, I'm, I told you're you. laughing she and I'm, it. it's my favorite place I've ever yeah. been to. I'm going tomorrow morning after I have a coffee with a friend. We really are. Mm -hmm, I love it. Number one for me is Bird Bird. Not like actually, but kind of. I'm obsessed with it. I kind of will piggyback with him on like food type vibes. So I'm saying Bird Bird because that's my favorite. But I like a lot of just different food places here and coffee too. I don't know, should I lump like those? Like that's a yeah. food thing. Like Joe's Coffee. If you've never been to Joe's, you need to go. I love the one on South Congress. It's so fun to make a day out of it. So yeah, I would say like food vibes, bird bird vibes, Joe's vibes is number one. Number two, let me think. I'm go with scenery as number That's two. Mine. That's a good one. Like just so many hills. I don't know if you guys are familiar with like the Lakeway, Lake Travis area in Austin. Even, Austin. Even Austin with like the Colorado River just runs right through downtown. That's so and it's weird. Like, yeah. It's crazy. There's people kayaking and paddle boarding. And it's so pretty. It's really Very cool. different than Raleigh. So we'll yeah. miss that. Like this isn't the same scenery whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Like we've, I always tell him like, even just driving to do like the simplest of errands, it, you can see so far out. It's like I, even right now from our apartment, I can see like hills and it is so beautiful here. So I, yeah, yeah for sure. Raleigh's still pretty, but like not the same vibes at all. And I would say number three would probably just be like, Nothing specific, but just the significance that Austin has held for us, I would yeah. say, because like you That's said, good. I like, that. like we got married and moved here. This is the first time we lived together was mm -hmm. here in Texas. And we it was two the apartments first here. few years of us being married, first few years of us living together away from family. We kind of grew up like it was yeah. the first time of like adulting. Like I kind of adulted <laughs> before that, but like when you're 22 hours from like everyone and living on your own and I don't mm -hmm. know, like we got more bills and like weird things. Really and we just, just had like to forced us up. to grow up for mm -hmm. sure. Okay, so the last question is, I already forget, <laughs> I looked away. Was Austin worth, worth the, the hype? hype? I feel like that's a good one to end on because a lot of people are moving here mm -hmm. right now. And so what is like your take on Austin? I think it's definitely worth the hype. It's, yeah. it's a great city, honestly. It's like so fun and I think if we had like our family here and I don't know, just like everybody we know from North Carolina, mm -hmm. if they were in Texas, I think we would stay here. It's funny because like anytime people came to visit us, they loved it. And it made me almost feel so bad because like, don't get me wrong, we love Austin. Austin is so cool. Mm -hmm. But like he's saying, like when you just don't have, I mean y'all, every family member for me basically is back in North Carolina. And like that is so hard for me yeah. being so far. But like Austin itself, I love. I think it's really great too if you are, like I don't know, I feel like younger and yeah, like a lot of, I know sure. college, like bachelorette parties come here. Dev and I personally, we aren't much of like a nightlife type couple and there's no problem if you are, but I think if you do like to like get out more, oh my gosh. Austin's the spot. It's the spot. We had gone out like what, maybe two nights or entire mm -hmm. few years. Like, and it gets a little crazy down there, but like downtown's a fun place to it be if fun. you're trying, like, I don't know, not necessarily like you can be married too, but like, I don't know if you're like single in your twenties mm -hmm. or have like a job offer here, I think you should come. Like, I think Austin yeah. is really cool. It's a good fun spot and- Good food. Like I love the mix about. of like city and like hiking kind of vibes, like the river and- That is that so sort of unique. Yeah. yeah, it's a good, and yeah, I don't know, like keep Austin weird, like it's funky, SoCo, I'm obsessed with. I will miss South Congress so much. I will keep you guys in the loop over on Instagram. You can follow me at All Things Leanne and shout out your Instagram. Maybe Devin we can get him to TD14. Look at that. That's follow up. Devin and tell him to post more because I think he should. Talk to you guys super soon and let's end it on a PDA. A PDA. <laughs> <laughs>